How is it going everybody? You're watching Danibal Tech and today I have a video that I've been waiting a lot of time to make and that is I'm switching to the iPad Pro. I'm actually switching my Mac, my long time companion MacBook Air to an iPad Pro 11 inch. And this is actually a huge deal. It is a big deal to me because I'm actually switching for good to the iPad Pro. I'll be only using the iPad Pro for now on. It will be my main, my solo computer, and I will not be touching my Mac anymore. And that's actually a big, big deal because I've been using Macs for over 10 years now. I've had this iMac right here, as you guys can see in the back. I've had this MacBook Air, I have another MacBook Air. I had two MacBook Pros over these years, over those years. And then uh, I've been using Mac my, my pretty much my whole adult life and everything I've, I've done regarding work, regarding YouTube, and regarding everything else uh, was done with a Mac, with a computer and always with a Mac. So this will actually test it out in a real world situation if the iPad Pro can actually replace a computer. And I know a lot of YouTubers are doing that, a lot of YouTubers are doing it. Can the iPad Pro replace a computer? Everybody's doing that, but honestly, I don't know if they're actually doing it. A lot of people say they are, but they always have that Mac around, so they're always with both devices. But I can guarantee you that I will be only using my iPad Pro. The only circumstance I'm gonna use my Mac is if I need to record a video right here for YouTube that needs uh, the Mac. So for example, if I'm doing something that is Mac related or if I'm doing something that requires a Mac to connect to an iPhone or even to this iPad, if it requires a Mac just to record a video for YouTube, for this channel, I'll be using the computer. But for everything else, I'll be using the iPad Pro. And you may have a few questions right now and maybe asking yourself, why did I do this? Why I decided to go iPad Pro only? And I have a few answers. Uh, it was one of my desires to do that for quite a long time. I wanted to go iPad Pro I thought this was the future. I think computers are like with mouses and cursors and things like that. The interface is just getting too old, too antiquated. And then I decided that iPads are the future. Uh, Apple always claimed that. But then I, I always thought that iOS was never ready and the iPads were never ready before this third generation iPad Pro, which is the one I have right here. You may also want to know why I decided to go with the 11 inch, so with the smallest iPad. And the answer is also very easy because I think that the big iPad, the 12.9, so the 13 inch uh, iPad Pro is just too big. Uh, to be a computer, it is perfect. Uh, 13 inches, it is perfect. It's the size I, I'm, I'm used to working with. All my Mac, all my MacBooks were uh, 13 inches, but actually to use it as a tablet, to use all of its potential, there's no point because it is just too big. You cannot hold the iPad 13 inch and use it and then type on it and things like that as a tablet. It is just a computer. And then I, and then I always thought, why would I have a 13 inch tablet, which only serves as a computer, with limitations because uh, the iPad Pro has limitations. Everyone knows that. So why would I have a 13 inch tablet slash computer that is just a computer and it has computer limitations? There's no point. I w it would be much better just to go ahead and buy a MacBook. So then I decided to go with the 11 inch, which I can have the best of both worlds. I have a computer, I have a laptop that I can definitely use as a laptop. And I also have a tablet which I can watch videos, read books, uh, uh, surf on the web and do things laying down on my couch, on my bed and everything else. And then there's the final question, the question I always ask myself, and it is a basic, obvious question. Can the iPad Pro do everything that I do on my Mac? So then uh, I actually made a list. I made a short list of everything I did every day, uh, the main tasks I did every day on my computer, on my day-to-day -day job, and then uh, as a YouTuber, of course, and then I wanted to see if the iPad could like uh, fulfill everything, if it could check all the boxes, and if it could, I would buy the iPad Pro. So what are those categories? You may wanna ask yourself, you may wanna make this change as well, and you may wanna know if the iPad Pro is for you. So. To me, this is everything I do on my Mac every day and that I need my iPad Pro to also do. First of all, I needed to obviously browse the web very well. So as a YouTuber, I do a lot of web browsing. Uh, I browse through a lot of websites every day, tech websites, rumors websites, news websites, everything regarding to web, to Safari, to browsing the web. I always do it every day, every single day, and the iPad Pro obviously does it very well. And then there's spreadsheets. Spreadsheets are very important to me. I use spreadsheets all the time. 
uh, as my schedule, to organize my videos, and then to organize all the information uh, inside Daniel Ball Tech, I use spreadsheets. So then I needed to see if the iPad Pro was pretty good with spreadsheets. Typing. Typing is very important to me. A dedicated keyboard is very, very important to me. I type a lot. I answer to a lot of emails. Uh, I type all the time on YouTube and then answering comments and then, as I said, emails and things like that. So then typing is very, very important and a keyboard is just crucial. I would not buy the iPad Pro if it didn't have a nice keyboard. As you can imagine, video editing is also very important. I edit videos all the time. Every time I post a video, I myself edit all the videos. I do all the work. So then having a, a video editor is just so, so important. So I needed to have a good video editor on the iPad Pro in order to make this switch. And last but not least, file management. Of course, I use a lot of files. I work with a lot of files, uh, like importing photos, importing videos, and then uh, attachments to, to my emails and things like that. Uh, documents, spreadsheets, as I mentioned. So I needed to have a very, very good file management. So without a good file management, I just couldn't make this switch. So then I saw that the iPad Pro actually filled all the gaps. It filled all, it checked all the boxes and I could see that it had everything I needed uh, for it to become my main computer, my solo computer. But of course, this is just the beginning. I just got this iPad Pro a couple days ago. I just started and play with it. Uh, I've just started editing videos and answering to emails and doing everything I mentioned right here. But of course, uh, this is not a review. This is just the first video telling you that I have decided to make this switch. So what will happen from now on? From now on, I'll have a lot honestly, a lot of videos regarding the iPad Pro. I have videos comparing all those features uh, to a computer and then saying what is better, what is worse, what features the iPad Pro has that a computer doesn't and what features a computer does have that the iPad Pro doesn't. So I'm gonna have videos comparing both of those features and how well they do, how well they perform. I'm gonna make those head-to-head -head comparisons that you guys like. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna have a full review of the iPad Pro and then finally, answer this question, this big question that I'm actually giving it to you right now, which is can the iPad Pro actually replace a computer? So I'm going to have a full review answering this question. And then obviously I'm going to have so many other videos, uh, tips and tricks, best apps, I'm going to have full guides on the iPad Pro, what you need to know, what you need to get started on the iPad Pro. I'm also going to have jailbreaking videos. Yeah, I'm going to jailbreak my brand new iPad Pro and show it to you so you guys can do that on your, on your iPad Pro or on your iPhone as well because the process is the same. And I'm also going to give you tutorials like how can you remove a forgotten passcode of your iPad Pro. So like keep in mind there will be a lot honestly a lot of content and I am just getting started. So stay tuned to Daniel Ball Tech. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and click on this bubble right here. Click on the subscribe button and then on the little bell icon so you'll get notified whenever I post a new video. And then of course also make sure to like it down here. Uh, hit the comment section down below. Tell me what you want to know about the iPad Pro, what you thought about this video, this intro video uh, in particular, and also everything you want to know about this device. Uh, if you agree with me if you don't agree with me just go ahead and hit the comment section below because i answer absolutely everybody yep so that's pretty much it and i'll see you guys in a couple days stay tuned